Cole Palmer's summer move from Manchester City to Chelsea raised a few eyebrows. £40 million for a young player who hadn't proved himself at City did seem quite substantial and could it potentially have been too much for an unproven talent. At the time of making this video, Cole Palmer has had an absolutely exceptional season. He's got seven goals in his last three Premier League games. And two of those games, he scored a hat-trick versus Manchester United and four goals versus Everton. Quite an incredible run of form. And Pep Guardiola has been asked about him many a time and said he was asking for two seasons to leave. I said no, but what can I do? And 20 Premier League goals later, I'm sure that Mauricio Pochettino is happy that Pep doesn't have the attacking talent anymore. And as with many young attacking talents at the moment, Cole Palmer is versatile. He can play on the right wing and he can play as a central attacking midfielder. And being in these positions, he's got end product, he's got style on the ball, he's got class. But Pochettino has used him mainly as a right winger, starting in 18 games and scoring 12 goals from the right wing position and then 12 and 10 from that cam roll. When he's out wide right, he's got a threat on the ball, but he loves to make runs diagonally in between the left back and the centre back so he can get through on goal, where he can showcase his exceptional finishing abilities on his left foot, but also on his right foot. He is calm and composed, and he's an incredibly productive player. His expected goals this season are in the top 1% of players who are attacking players in the top five leagues in the world, which is quite exceptional. And if you look at the Premier League, he is joint top goal scorer with Manchester City's goal machine, Erling Haaland. So for a player who's in his first whole season in the Premier League, that is incredible. And when he's out wide, he has the opportunity to combine with the centre forward and it allows midfielders to get Carl Palmer involved in the game, drifting inside to the pitch. He can get more involved closer to the goal. And he does this by utilising the half space. He doesn't stay out wide as a traditional winger. Cole Palmer likes to get on the ball and create and make things happen. And by utilising the half space, he can do this effectively. He wants to get on the inside of the defender so he can get closer to goal. Half space is an area that Cole Palmer is incredibly comfortable in and it forms the basis of his performance when he's out wide on the right. And this half space gives him chance to potentially get on the ball and create. Now firstly, he utilises it so well by using the fullback's overlap to cut inside. As the fullback runs round him and progresses forwards, it drags the other fullback, the defensive fullback, wider. Cole Palmer waits for this run from his own fullback and drives inside with the ball. And when he makes this diagonal run with the ball at his feet towards the more central areas of the pitch, he is effective. But he also drifts inside when the fullback has the ball themselves, which allows him to receive it in space closer to the penalty area and the central areas of the pitch, and then play through balls, getting space to play through balls into midfielders or forwards making runs through. And this is really vital for the way that Chelsea play. They like to play counter-attacking football and they like to get runners forwards from midfield and have centre forwards like Nicholas Jackson running behind the defence. And Cole Palmer is in the top 1% of players for these successful through balls and the top 5% of players for progressive passes forwards. So he can get the ball in sort of narrow areas of the pitch and play forwards. But it's not just out wide where he thrives. He's incredibly effective cam. In 11 appearances as Cam this season, he's scored 10 goals and he can receive the ball in the midfield third really effectively. Under pressure, he can receive it, protect it and then lay it off to a midfield partner or he can even get the ball and potentially beat a player on the turn. He has the ability to turn a possession-based phase of play into an attacking pace phase of play. He's got quality on the ball, he can turn, he's got quick feet and he can drive forwards. He's comfortable at carrying the ball and keeping it as he's driving forwards. He's a huge threat and much more of a threat than maybe a lot of people would have thought initially at the start of the season. In the top five leagues in Europe, Cole Palmer has a very interesting stat in his favour. If you look at these names, they're all elite players and their goal involvements are incredibly high. But Cole Palmer has the best goal involvement number out of everyone in Europe under 23 years of age which shows what a talent the young player is. He may be in England's Euro squad, but Mauricio Pochettino is sure to be incredibly happy with the signing of Cole Palmer, as he's delivered much more than we previously would have thought of at the start of the season. And it looks like he could just be 
an elite performer for Chelsea and England.